Welcome back, guys. Stop talking roll episode 146. Your show for jujitsu breakdowns. The number one show. See that, guys? That was me making a mistake, but fixing it mid sentence. And that's how your jujitsu should be because sometimes you make mistakes. You don't want to make mistakes, but sometimes you do. Sometimes, some, sometimes. And uh, you want to you go with it. What I'm doing right now is debating if I want to restart the episode or not. This happens sometimes. This is behind the scene footage, but I guess it won't be behind the scenes because it's going out. Number one show for jujitsu analysis. We got Magro in the blue Gracie Sports rash guard, and we have uh, his opponent who, if you're new to the channel, I call everyone Jimmy. If I don't know your name, so this is Jimmy. And uh, let's go. Magro, thank you for getting me these videos. I always appreciate it. All right, so we go. And we got some, we got a tie up and a guard pull into uh, that. Makes me think he wants to look for leg entanglements. Yeah. So he is ripping at an ankle lock that's probably not really there, but still got to respect it. Uh, one thing you could do, Magro, right here, instead of hand fighting, putting your foot in the ground is super helpful and, and looking to strip this grip off. Um, is probably going to, I mean, obviously he can do things with it from there, but it's going to probably do more. Um, it's hard to say, like given this grip that he has, I'm not too worried about the speed. He would be able to switch to something else, but I could be wrong. Um, what I would be worried more about is if he's able to drive this through, I don't know what the rule set is. I don't know if you're allowed to do heel hooks, even still, um, getting this Getting this, oh my God, getting this grip off, right, um, would be great. And what you do is you just palm up, grab right behind the foot, and drive it out, okay? Um, and it'll it'll clear that grip. And as long as you keep your foot planted on the floor, you're not really in threat of an ankle lock. Um, yeah. That could be tight. Nice job. Nice job. Way to not freak out on that. There's a guy at our gym, Ricky, who does this. Ricky's been on the show before. Ricky gets me with this. And it's uh, it's scary because he is uh, he has great technique and he's a larger human being. Um, interesting choice for Jimmy. Um, just to touch on Jimmy here. Sounds like a bad sentence. Um, I, Jim, Jimmy, you you can use this as a sweeping position. So like his head's really far forward. What you could do is just roll backwards a little bit, which you kind of do, but keep everything in place. He's going to have to step his second leg forward right about here. And then you can use your other arm to grab it. And then you can take all of that and shove him forward. If he, if Magro continues to throw his head forward and you have both of his legs, you can invert and go into leg entangle, more leg entanglements because it looks like that's something that you like to do. Um, I'm not a big fan of this, and and I'm and I'm saying this still with somebody in our gym who like chokes me out with it in a consistent basis. Like it's a problem. Like I need to I need to like actively avoid this situation. Um, I still haven't fully bought into it. Um, I think it's great for him. I don't think it's great for everybody. Um, Magro, way to just chill and not freak out. Um, I like that you you base out and you start putting pressure on the on his like on the knot itself. Um, one thing you could do to kind of relieve pressure, I, possibly, is if it's still super tight, you can come under and hug at his elbows, like right at your forearms, and drive like up. It's it's kind of a weird motion, but drive up and and together to make his elbows kind of make his hands kind of pop out. Um, it should make things a little easier. So, but what's the point that I want to see why they came off? Great base. Both hands are on. You move the, oh, he's, he's coming off. So you move your hand. I mean, yeah, like, because because the thing is, if you go to take the, don't be fool, guys. This does work. And, and the key, it works as well. Like, it, it, it does work. Um, if you try to mount or you try to take the back while someone has this in, they could still push you out. Um, I still remember this day. I was like a blue, I was a blue belt actually. And someone, um, the match right before me, someone got put to sleep <laughs> like <laughs> from the top of mount. He, the guy, the guy like slaps, it was in the gi, he slaps in that choke 
and uh, like the the guy on bottom, and the other guy on top like goes to mount him, and he and he chokes him out. He's on top of him, and he chokes him out. It's like out. It was so crazy. Um, anyway, um, so he's able to clear out. He turns into you. I would, Jimmy. I would recommend you can kind of control when you're gonna let go. Um, and I would turtle right away. I would turtle real, real tight. Um, but he turns in. Uh, Magro's already told me, like you know, what he's gonna get. But if you don't see, there's a Dars right here, which is. He goes right in. Magro, I love how. So look what he's doing here, guys. He's he's do he, you know he's not just doing like one thing at a time. He's securing the like. If you don't know a Dars, it's gonna go. The 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 opponent gets an underhook. You basically come over and through all the way to their head. Magro already starts setting up the head control with this hand immediately. So he's keeping this head in place. So he can't back away right now. Keeps it in tight, and his hand comes through. Ooh, that's nice. And gets right to the back of his head. Now, Jimmy tries to turtle, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's it's you're not gonna be able to stay here. Um, let's see. Yeah, he should the fighting the hands is not gonna do anything here. This is just yeah, he just doesn't know. He just doesn't know. Let's see. I'll let this play out. Ooh, interesting. Cool. What? That's tight. Nice job. Um, what he should be doing right here and Magro, you should be careful on your knees like this so his hands in tight here i would drive him back down to his side to make sure that his arm ends up on your left side of the body Magro. for jimmy you want to be punching this and you can right now because there's all this space here look at all this space right you can punch this hand through and use that to lay to your back with your arm up That'll negate the the Dar's joke, um, but very cool. I like what you're doing here. Let's see. So you drive him over. You sit. You pull a guard. And you just pull a guard. It's like mount guard. You could do it from mount. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Get your hand raised. I'll get you on here. Oh wait. <laughs> there we go. Um, very cool. Nice, nice Darces. I just started playing with these like a few months ago, and I'm I love them. There's su it's such a good choke. Um, I had such a hard time playing them for such a long time, and uh, I think it's just because I didn't put time in to uh, really getting to know them. Um, I you know I stuck with what I know, but they're so much fun. There's it's such a good choke. I I hit my first Anaconda last night. Like I'm I'm really starting to get into all these like front headlock chokes and they're good like they're they're strong um magro thank you for the submission great job guys if you didn't like the video but you like magro give me a like and subscribe all right do it for magro i appreciate that ring the notification bell um if you also like the video drop a like and uh, i get these videos out every morning 8 a.m eastern standard time monday through saturday if you want to get on the show like magro over here check out the description below um and and reach out to me we he hits me up literally after every competition he sends me a video or two and i get it up here so um, i'd love to break down it could be in the gym it could be a positional training round it doesn't really matter just something jujitsu and you're trying to roll right i don't really do like technique itself breakdowns i do more like bigger like kind of section to section breakdowns like what happened here what happened there um but if you want to see some kind of that content let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see um I don't know really if I have the capacity to do technique videos right now where I'm at, but maybe sometime in the future, if that's what you guys are interested in seeing, uh, it's something that I could uh, start doing. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day and good night, good day, wherever you are. Maybe you're on the other side of the planet right now, or maybe you're just watching this at a time that's different than me recording. Okay, bye.